First thing I'm going to do is take what's given to us and label our diagram. They don't give you the units, so you just put the numbers, and then I'll show you how to write that in your final answer. Make sure I don't make any mistakes here either. That's all of them, right, that they give you? Yeah. Okay. We have to find this piece and is my green marker on that desk over there? Can somebody go check? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter actually. I, I could get by. And this piece here. How do you find BC? Ryan. Okay, yeah, twelve. You look. You add up your verticals to make the whole vertical. So that's 21. And then how do you find DC? Ava? Um, you have to find a number that adds up to 20. Using what piece, though, that we already have? All right, so 12 plus what makes 20? Now I have everything that you need. What do you need, Brett? Five? It's the same one from yesterday. Yeah, this is the problem set from last night. Oh, okay. Didn't you didn't you didn't receive it? No. All right, hold on a second. There's two ways to break it up. I'm going to show you one way. If you did it the other way, as long as the answer still matches, you're fine. I'm doing it this way. How many of you did it that way? Me. The majority did. Okay, break, that breaks it up into rectangle one and rectangle two. Write the formula, substitute, and answer for, for, for both of them. You get credit. When you take your quiz on Friday, everything is worth points. Even if you write just a formula down, it's worth a point. So formula is base times height. The thing that you have to, be, you have to watch out for with rectangle one is what is the base? Aaron, it's 20. It's not 12. Remember, 12 is just a partial piece. The whole base is 20. And the height's nine. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. The whole base has got to be the entire, so, uh, the entire bottom or the entire top. One eighty for this piece. All right. Piece number two. Base is eight. Entire height's twelve. And you get ninety six. Then when you add it together, you get 276, and it's square units because they don't measure the size in any particular measurements, not centimeters, meters, or anything. So just call it square units. Back. Um, I did mine the other way, and instead of cutting it down, I made uh -huh. it rectangle one rectangle two. Um, did you get 276? Yeah, the other cut that you would that you would make if you did it the other way is this way. Okay, you'll get different numbers for for the rectangles, but it'll still add up to 276. I units and then I Fine. Yep, that's even the better way to do it. Wait, so when they don't give you like the measurement, they don't give you the measurement. You have to figure it out by looking at alternative sides and adding up. Oh, unit. Yeah, then it's square units. Yeah, it's square units. Could you put unit with You can. I just didn't want that to confuse you, but you could do it this way too. That's square units also. Okay? All acceptable. But don't leave it off. Because again, this is going to be worth a point on Friday. Every time you leave a unit, if you just put the number, I say, I say no naked numbers. Make sure no naked numbers. If you just put a number and no units at all, you're going to lose a point every single time, so be careful. All right, this one, it's the same idea, but it's decimals. Use a calculator. Use a calculator. Don't try to do all this in your head. You're going to get a calculator. You're going to get a calculator tomorrow. You're going to get one on the quiz on Friday. Uh, okay, DC, 1.9. I'm not going to put the units in on the measurements just because I don't want it to get cluttered. I just have to remember at the end it's centimeters. FE is 5.6. AF is 4.8, BC 10.9. Same idea. This plus this has to add up to 10.9. So you could do that by subtraction. If you do that, you get 
for this? Did you get 6.1? Flex. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know what? Yes. Yes. If they give you sides and centimeters, make sure it's it's square centimeters in your final answer. I just want you to check. All right, AB is going to be this piece plus this piece, and that's going to be 7.5. Did you get 7.5? I'm going to break it up the same way as I did in example one. I'm going to go that way. One and two. Formula always first. Base, same thing. It's not 5.6, it's 7.5. It's the whole piece. And multiply by 4.8. So you add, you get the um, base 7.5 and add 5.6 plus 4.8. No, no, no. To get, to get 7.5, it was that 5. Point, I'm, adding up, I'm adding my horizontals. 5.6 and 1.9. I, I don't have my, oh, I do have my key. I was going to say, what is, well, what is 7.5 times 4.8? What'd you get? What'd you get? I'll come to you in a minute. Yeah, it's 36. Get it, Em. Because this is not my entire base. It only goes to here. I need the whole piece. And remember, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So this is this whole piece is 7.5. It's a good question. Okay, next. This one is straightforward. They give you a complete base and a complete height. 6.1 or 8, uh, 1.9 times 6.1. What do you get? I forgot, Dill. I think that's right. See, I did the entire base. <laughs> like the entire side. 47.59 total. And I've got to include the units now, which is square centimeters. Okay. Pick up right where we left off yesterday with the stage. I forgot what page it is, but I'll get to it here in a minute. Seven? Get CJ. Seven, thank you. No, eight. Uh, eight. Okay, re recall from yesterday. What was what was the area of the stage? It was 51 meters squared, right? Yeah. Are we good? What's up, guys? Are we good? Yeah. All right. I want to show you one more other way to figure out the area of a stage. If it confuses you, or you like doing it the other ways by what's called decomposition and that works for you, that's great. I want to show it to you the next way which is called composition, which is enclosing the whole and then using subtraction. So that's this diagram down here. We just have to copy down our measurements because it's not on this diagram. So recopy. For right now, let me go to full screen because I don't want to keep scrolling back and forth. All right, it was 7, don't even worry about the units for right now, 2, 2, 4, and I can't see it, was it 9? 9. All right, when we add this piece right here, we're technically making two rectangles. This becomes a rectangle that overlaps over the large rectangle. So we, this is called composition. Yeah, Lex. Yeah, yeah, go grab. So what we're going to do, because remember, we're just trying to find this right here, this open stage. We're going to find the area of the large rectangle, find the area of the small rectangle, and then do what in the final step? Subtract, Subtract the two which may be the longer way around. It may not work for you, but it may be something that you might want to try. I'm going to show it to you anyway. Okay. Let me go back to the larger screen. All right. First formula, we'll do the, let's do the large one first. A equals base height. 
Trough, what's my base? And height. 63 for large. Look, ready? Small one. What's my uh, base? Oh, we don't have a base, but we could figure it out. Look, can you figure out the base on that? On the small one? Yeah. Um, wouldn't it be four? Remember, this plus this plus this has to add up to seven. Oh, three? Yep, that'll work. Good job. Base is three. And Spence, what's my height? Okay, 63 large, 12 small. What do I have to do in order to get just the piece we want? Dave. Yup, subtract. And it should equal 50 run, and it does. And then really tying this all together is all A, B, C, and D are all parts. You get the same answer. Sixty-three, where? Minus twelve is fifty-one. Yeah, it's a bad five. <laughs> All right. All right, let's literally go off stage. Okay. Real quick, what is the formula? Let's just let's do this in reverse. What's the formula for a parallelogram, the area? We've done this, so what is it, M? No, no, that's just triangle only. Brett. Same thing as the rectangle. Okay, go to number two. Let's just find the area of the parallelogram first, because then we're going to see, yeah, we're going to see if we can decompose it and get the same thing. So A equals base height. Help me out here, because it's off screen for me. What's my base? Spence. And what's my height? Four meters. Total area then, Spence. Okay, let's remember that number. Magic number is 24. Listen, if you, have a, if you have one formula for a shape, use it. You don't need to decompose it. But I'm going to show you why it works. I'm going to draw a diagonal from A to C. Do that on your paper. I'm going to cheat and use the, the standard line. It's just easier. Draw a diagonal from A to C. Do you see two triangles created by doing it? Yes. So technically, if we find the area of each triangle, we can then add it and hopefully get what number? 24. Okay, let's do it. A equals, in this case, it's base times height divided by 2. Sam, what's my base? Right. What's my height? Yeah. You could probably do 24 divided by 2 in your head, but if you can knock out, always knock out when you can. You get 12. Remember that number, because we're going to add it to what we get now on the other side. 2. Same exact thing. Same base, same height. You've created two congruent triangles. You've, you've created two, two congruent triangles. Go through the motions, you get 12. 12 plus 12 makes 24. That's why it works. Okay? But listen, you get the, you get the parallelogram. I, my advice to you whenever we do de decomposition, you want to do it with as little work as possible. When you see a shape that you know you've got to break up, break it up into the fewest amount of shapes possible. This one you don't need to break up at all. It's just you have a formula for the parallelogram. I'm just showing you that it can be done this way. All right, next example.
Believe it or not, there is a formula for the area of a trapezoid, but you're not going to get exposed to it until seventh grade. We used to teach it in sixth grade. Base one plus base two divided by two times the height. Okay? Rather than throw that at you, let's do it by decomposition. Yes. And you might have done it. Was there a trapez was there a trapezoid on the state assessment? I don't remember if there was or there wasn't. Did they give you the formula for the trapezoid in the reference sheet? No. I don't think they did. Just because they took it out of sixth grade Common Core. Composition is in there yet, which we're going to do now. All right, let's do this. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to skip method two. Okay, same thing. Diagonal line from A to, A to C. Everybody do that on your paper. Okay, even though they're not congruent, do you see two triangles? Okay, let's do triangle A, C, D first. I'll, I'll, we'll call it triangle one. But look, but look, you still have, it's one triangle here showing you the height or the altitude. Okay. Triangle one. Formula first. A equals base height divided by two. What's my base? T.O. Four. Height. Which is really the altitude, because it's outside of the given triangle. Oh. Siege. Good. Knock out two and four, and you get what? What do you get? Ten. All right, triangle two. You're not going to get ten now, because the triangles are not congruent. You actually got to go through it. button. What's my base? What? What's my base? Oh, uh, mm-hmm. And what's my height? Five. Knock out two and eight. And what do you get for the second triangle? 20. Add it together and what do you get? Three. Don't forget units now. Meters Square. squared. Remember that number. I'm going to skip two. What two is, guys, I'll just show it to you real quick. They're telling you, you could take a diagonal, split it this way, and you'll get the same thing. Still using decomposition. I do want to show you, though, using composition. So go to the next page. It's the same shape, same dimensions. Don't let this throw you off. It's not a new problem. We're going to complete the partial shape by making a rectangle. Composition. I'm going to cheat. You guys have to be perfectly straight when you make your lines. As best you can, make your rectangle. Okay. Before we even begin, and I'll make this worth a candy. Before we even talk about numbers and formulas and base and height, in order to find this piece, this trapezoid, tell us in words what you have to do by doing it this way. All right, Murmur, go. Okay, and I'll say, let's say this is the first triangle. Then what? No. Ed. From? Yes. It's like what we did with this, the last example of the stage. Find the whole rectangle. Well, let's, let's do that first. Whole rectangle. Base height. 
8 and 5. Agree? Yes. 40. Okay. Whole rectangle. Triangle 1. Call it try 1. Different formula. Don't forget. Base times height divided by 2. Now, you can't do it right now unless I give, I have to give you the measurements of those bases. And I'm going to. I'm going to tell you that this is 3 meters. And I'll tell you that this is 1 meter. Which makes sense because it all adds up to 7. 3 plus, I'm, I'm sorry, 8. 3 plus 4 plus 1. Now you have everything you need. Triangle 1, what's the base? What's the height? M. You actually have it reversed. Three is my base, five is my height. When you do this, nothing knocks out. You get 15 divided by two, which is close. Close. 7.5. Off by one, Ben. Okay. Triangle two. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Do you have it on your sheet? Yeah. I'm going to ask you to call out numbers. I can't see it on screen. What was the base? Mm-hmm. Height. Back. Five divided by two. Good. Forty. And you would have a calculator for this. Minus 7.5 minus 2.5 is guess what? Ryan's going to do it for us because he's got he's handy up there. Yeah, go do it. What should we get? It works. It's another strategy. You want my opinion? I think decomposition is easier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is composition. Some some like to do it either way. There's some I will there will, there's some and I think it's in the advanced set, but I'm not sure. There's some where the only way to do it is by composition. You ha you know, there's just no way around it. But there is more than one way to do these things. I have you're gonna go to your problem set in working groups, but I have one change that I need you to make. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. Go to um I will tell you what page it is here. Just give me a second. Go to, I don't know, what page is this? 17. Lex, did you already get to this page? Don't worry about it. It's not a mistake, okay? It's just something that's going to make it a little bit easier for you, for you guys. Make this four. What about three? I mean, four. 16. No, leave that the way it is. It's fine. This, make sure you get the right page because they look similar. You got to be. You, you, it's page 17. Change that to four meters. And the reason why I'm going to tell you that is because when you do this, you're going to have to find this piece and this piece. And I'd rather you not deal in decimals. Now you'll be dealing in whole numbers to figure. You want to do it right now? Let's do it. If this is four, what are these two pieces? How many say six? How many say four? How many say seven? This is known as a regular trapezoid because it's creating some it's it's a it's the line of symmetry is horizontal. This is seven, this is seven, and obviously when you add it all up, it has to equal eighteen and it does. Okay? Alright, group up and go. Yeah. You got it.